Okay. <laughs> Look at Pikachu just running around in the background. Oh! Oops, Daisy. Uh, I was just sorting up the YouTube notification, so anyway. Uh, welcome back to Let's Go Pikachu! And if you come here from the YouTube notification, uh, YouTube community post that I sent out, uh, sent onto my channel, uh, yeah, the day that we did, oh, it's so big and pink and fucking, yeah. Well, we're having a fable following us. It's a big one, too. Yeah. Uh, if you came from the YouTube community post, then you'll be aware that of the whole uh, day that, I, that I'm streaming. This is the 4th. So, for Americans, Happy Independence Day. What's it like knowing you betrayed the country that gave you such lovely, lovely things like tea? That's it, really. Yeah, we didn't give you much else, actually, to be honest. You did a lot of your own. Uh, America did a lot of his own things that allowed for it to be able to state that it's independent. So, we all, so last time we actually did do Mount Moon. Um, pretty much all the way through, uh, assuming... Uh, that was an onyx. Hold on a second. Hang on a second, that means Onyx can spawn here. It's an interesting thing to have, be able to occur. So, hold on, I'm just gonna just run around a little bit. Do, 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 do. That, that's Zubat. We, we don't want Zubat. I'm gonna assume that that was a wear encounter right as I was leaving, so, uh, uh, I will not go actively hunting for it. Uh, we'll. We don't need a Geodude either, I don't think... No, we don't need Geodude, we've got Geodude in the pile, I think. Uh, so, anywho! As per the way that this dungeon worked, we got the fossil, I went hunting for a Moonstone, which allowed me to get us this Clefable, that's now following us, and it's a big one. Uh, I like that, it's big and pink, and we're getting attacked by Subat. Uh, so that one can be a bit crafty, so you know what, we'll just leave them alone. <laughs> I don't want to have a box full of Subats. No, it's not plain to tell. Oh well. Getting any additional Moonstones would be fine, but we're not seeing you getting them. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I don't want to be going around catching all the geodudes that exist. Uh, actually, I should check. What's up front in the party? Beedrill. And um, Beedrill's kind of proved the point of not being that good. Um, so, or at least only having three Beedrill's not the best. And I like, I, you know, I don't mind Beedrill as a Pokemon, but. Uh, let's see. What should we have in the party? Ooh, wow. Uh, let's throw an audition. We're going to be heading towards um, Cerulean, which means Misty, which means water types. So, grass will deal super effective damage. Stop right there! And there's Team Rocket. A la Pokemon Yellow, they show up. Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. Uh, how did you even get here ahead of us? Uh, you were looking off in the distance. We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. Meow. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. And so we enter a battle against Team Rocket. And it's a double battle too! Oh god, okay, right. Go, Pikachu and Spiro, because Spiro was up in the second slot. Double battles, how lovely. Uh, we're just gonna Thundershock and Sparrow has that. Good. We'll, we'll just double team the coughing. These are poison types. Generally weak to psychic and ground maneuvers. Uh, of course, uh, some Pokemon that haven't been poison type have uh, done the crafty thing of knowing levitate. I do need to double check if abilities actually even exist. So I reckon should have intimidate. Unfortunately for us, poison gas has hacked. 
which means our Pokemon are dying to poison that's coursing through their face. However, that's coughing dealt with since neither of them might be using the Meowth. That should wrap up what we got to do. And oh, no, oh yeah, the other factor of July 4th here in the UK is the general election. Um, so that's what I've been up to in the morning. I went and voted. And that's all I'll say about that because I don't know the warnings entirely on what I can and cannot say about about it. Hmm. The pardon me. Uh, I have a ball of fire because of course I'm out. So. Uh, sleep powder or poison powder. I'll do that because sleep generally is useful. Still. I think in every generation, if you've got a way of being able to have your Pokemon, your opponent Pokemon just sleeping the entire time, it. It's useful. They don't get time, you get time. Guaranteed. For a certain amount of times. <sighs> I'm sad about the poison. Really the only way to stop the poison from doing damage every time is to swap my Pokemon out, but then that runs the risk of my other Pokemon also getting uh, poisoned, which, you know, kinda don't want to have happen. Sad. And the Ekans is... Die. Ah, it's still alive! Right, well, we win next time. So, we just spam the A button. Ooh, pardon me. And Judo wants to learn Walk Throw, which will be handy against flying types, although to be fair, uh, we have Pikachu. So, eh. but, you know, a Walk Type move. Yeah. Oh, that's from now, that's right. Bit of coverage. I can't believe it. A 12 beat us. Uh, yes, I did indeed beat you. You suck. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off! And the Pikachu symbol's there, yay! Medium looks completely exasperated. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when it comes to Team Rocket. <laughs> Just pat a Pikachu on the head. But wait. Hang on, I actually do want to check now. Do do they not have abilities in in Let's Go? Yeah, there's no bloody abilities. Hold on a second. Wait, hold on. No, wait, no. G Gengar's easy to beat then. Gengar is going to be so easy to beat. Just a single earthquake will kill it. Uh, uh, Agatha's Gengar's going to be easy to kill. Holy shit, okay, right, we need to have at least one good ground type move user on the team at all times because Kanto decks has a lot of poison types and any of the ones that normally end up having levitate are now not going to be an issue. Over here we find some Pokeballs. I think somewhere around here in Generation 3 you can find two people that can teach. One teaches Mega Punch, one, one teaches Mega Kick. And we've got a Paralyze Hill. Which is not so useful, seeing as we need a poison here, which is an antidote, uh, if we want to call the poison before we make it to Cerulean. Oh! Yeah, it's happy. The fable found something in the plants! It's a raspberry! And. Oh, there's a move item here. It's a repel! I feel like it repels counterintuitive. I mean, obviously in the cave, if it's just nothing but Zubat's fair enough, but... Uh, you know. Well, I see a Viator. That's... Let me and Spiro, ever so useful game. Uh, oh, come on, there's got to be things other than Viator and Spiro in here. There are 
That again? I think the only real additions we get at this point. And then again, if it's following the yellow decks, then maybe not. Right, there's a train in front of that place. Welcome to Cerulean! We're heading to the Pokemon Center. Oh, where is it? Is it that? B? It's a fountain! Pika Pika. Pikachu is happy about a fountain. How do this shooting out water? You want to throw money into the fountain? No! That's a stupid idea. Do I look like someone that would waste money? Hello, Nurse Joy. Heal me, Pokemon. I'll take a Pokemon for a few seconds then. Bump, 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 bump. Actually, I should probably check. Can Cafable learn anything? Gen 7 wise? Let's see, Pictures Gen. Oh, yeah, let's go with Kyrus Gen 7. Uh, all ties, because Cafable should be quite low down. Do, 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 do. I like how, because it's technically Gen 7, it's listing me the Megas, because you can access them. Oh, yeah, no, Fairy's one, Fable is one of those ones, so. We can learn a bunch of stuff through the TMs, uh, whether any of them actually attacks we'd want on a Fable is down to me, really. Um, anyways. Uh, oh, you look, you have a lollipop. Your Pikachu looks very promising. I'm sure that, that Pikachu can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want me to teach a marvellous move to Pikachu? What do you say? Sure. Sippy Sap. So now we'll be forgotten and replaced with Sippy Sap. And this is where my knowledge dries up from here on out. Uh, so Sippy Sap, uh, this is where I got to on my main file um, before. And looking at this move, and you can understand why suddenly things seem to be, I don't know, maybe a little too easy. Sippy Sap, for 15 PP for sure, but a 50 power of 100 accuracy, a user attacks target with bursts of electricity at high speed. This move will always go fast, so we have priority, and results in a critical hit. Meaning that 50 power is there as a balance. Because we'll always quit. Now, unfortunately, our attack, I think we are attacked down. But it will always be better than Thundershock on principle. Oh, so I'm sad there's no abilities in that sky, actually. Or if there is, it's not clear. But a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? Okay, so these guys seem to have abilities and all that. You're not a fairy spin, are you? There are two types of attacking moves, physical and special. Blah, 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 blah. Behold, the map. We're on, like, the bit where there's, like, way up, down, left, and right. We came from the left. Oh, that bill! I didn't do anything to get his hands on the web Pokemon. Anything at all? Hmm, okay. Uh, let's not go change Misty straight away. We could head up here. Uh, I actually, hang on, Hinite might still be here. I actually think it's uh, from Gen 1. Through this guy's house. Is it even a hidden item anymore? Or is it even existing? Well, it's just somewhere around here. Should be. Oh. Yeah, it's not even hidden this time round. It is a wear candy. An additional wear candy, meaning more level ups we can do through just giving it to a Pokemon. I might just save them for a Pokemon that's going to take a while to grind or something that I really want to use. But, it depends. Right, uh, let us... You know what? Nah, let's just start with Pikachu. Because, is there a rival battle here still? Yep, there is. Oh, Chris, you gotta, you're not gonna believe this! A p p Pokemon! It, 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 yeah. And that's the queue for battle, apparently. I'm sure Fred's doing okay. And, yep, just like with Revival in Gen 1, starts with a flying type. Although it's Pidgey, not Spearow, because I'm.
What does that do? Uh, I had the power to. Million short hit move! Pick a papal? Uh, I mean, I was gonna one shot with Sivy Sap anyway, but okay, so that's a thing. That's a fifth move, basically. Hold on a second. I call hacks on ourselves. And an oddish. That is actually not a bad option to have, as it does persist Pikachu's electric maneuver and its poison typing helps it to not take much damage from the double kick as well, actually, thinking it through. And this is why we have spell. Just in case we need to deal with it last time. And we haven't got another fire type yet, so, you know. Once we have a fire type, that might easily take a play. And yet, poison powder. It was gonna happen. But it does mean that if it has any of the other poisons, uh, no, no, um, powders, it can't use any of those ones without it just being like that the point. So, good news. We can now just peck away. Woke up this morning. I think one of the first things I noticed is the Senderstone Zero is out, which is the Hoyo. Uh, maybe I'll check it out on stream or something. I don't know. Uh, we've, we've got the Cold Steel 4 playthrough going on. We've got this going on now. Um, so I'm not too sure on that one, uh, to be honest. I might check it out because I like Star Whale. I, I did like Genshin. Ouch. Okay. Uh, I was not paying attention. Apparently, I was actually in a knockoutable place. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's have a bit of fun. Clefable! We can sing and then we can metronome. Or we can just metronome. The fact that it's level 7, I just evolve it straight up. Just, hmm. Maybe I made a mistake. Anyway, metronome! Let's show it off. It's a move that means it can do multiple moves. It used convert. It's type changed to normal! Which actually might be beneficial, because it would be weak to acid actually, I think. Because it's fairy type, I forget about that. I was like, we're under level, so. with Fable, so this is more of a. Can we just. Yeah, drill Peck! That works indeed! Super effective, the oddish faint. Spirit doesn't get any experience, doll. Oh. But Cavable certainly does! Whoopee! Level up! Up to level 8 it goes. And it gets additional attack. Fair enough. And our Pokemon that we've got elsewhere. Anyways, no point really beating around the bush. We'll just send Million back in and double kick Eevee. This is a thing I need to point out. If, if they gave like Eevee like a ground type move at this point, it, for Let's Go Eevee, it'd be, it'd be a similar case where it's just like, okay, you just gave me the way to just beat the Pokemon. Why do that? We shall sippy sap! Oh, wait, why am I sippy sap? I realised my mistake. But it's good to show off the animation. It's a critical hit. So, we'll just do normal damage anyway. So, it's in, this, is, this isn't the last move to be classed as a always quit move. Uh, generation, <laughs> recent, the current generation has that on uh, uh, at least a couple of moves have uh, insta crits, basically. So that's just how it is. Oh, that's the Eevee beaten. I'm sad, I keep having to beat up an Eevee. But I'm not going to buy Let's Go Eevee when I've already got Let's Go Pikachu. Phew! Okay, I feel a bit calmer now. Good, good on you, Fred. Please remain calm. And I explain more thoroughly what has happened. <sighs> Deep breaths, yeah, just inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Calm the nerves. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon finale is supposed to live. Why don't I stop by because I thought maybe I'd get away to see some rare Pokemon or something. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. What well, I've found, and don't freak out when you hear this, that Pokemon Fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Truly shocking. Yeesh! Just think about it, it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Chris! <laughs> Whatever you do. 
And we can shake the thing. <laughs> oh, it's what? Oh, Millions waiting to go. Seems like he enjoys playing with fights Pokemon. Ah, eh, fair enough. More head, more head pads for Million. Yeah. Who's a good Pokemon? Who's a good? Yeah, head pads, head pads. Yeah. As you know, we've been collecting a number of these. Let's uh, feed you a different berry this time. Woo. Okay, let's go and uh, sort out our box once healing, because I realise that's one issue with Kvabel is that it's low level plus uh, it doesn't really have any offensive moves, like you can sing and then utilise um, metronome, but that's not going to work, that's not going to cut it, you know? If there's a Pokemon I could evolve. Or something just look at that. I just like the look at this fable, but it's like mm. Or alternatively it's there in my pie if I wanna use it and it will get experience, it will level up and we'll get some TMs for it. Uh later or something. Cause at the moment Yeah, not much is gonna happen in my pie yet. No actually. Uh wait, okay, time for Nugget Bridge, which should be just a series of fights that are very simple to go about. Uh, first things first is a bug trainer, we can see that more visually in the way that these graphics work. So, we'll start off with Spearow. Run to World 24 with Nugget Bridge. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I don't know. Do I? But catch a cave. Mmm. Ferronat! Only level 9! And we just have to fall Pokemon of higher level. Uh, game freak at it again, I see. As the unit. <laughs> uh, anyway. Ferronat! Where in Pokemon Yellow, the poison type gym leader has three of at about level 44 to 48. And then a level 50 Phenom Moth. No idea why, why Game Freak chose that. It made the team a lot less... I, I feel like Koga's team in Gen 1 was better in Red and Blue than it was in Yellow. It's just it's just weird that they did that, you know? So it'll be interesting to see what sort of team it will be here. Woo! Good stuff. Although that's for when we get to Fuchsia. That's a long way away though, or not long at all, depending on how fast it takes us to get through various parts of this game. Anyways, with that trainer done, we've got last, so from this point forth, let's switch back over to Meliom, and we'll uh, just flow with the go, go with the flow. I'm second, now I'm serious! Alright, uh, there's serious guys, we shouldn't take them too lightly. Last Alley, or Ali. <clears throat> last time I saw someone called Ali, uh, they win. They're in TNA. Uh, Total non stop action. Before anyone says, ah ha ha, yeah, 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 they're yeah, TNA. Yeah. That's not good. Anyway, it's a Psyduck! Psyduck, yeah. Unfortunately, it's a water type, which means Sippy Sap. It dead. We killed it. <laughs> We're the cause of its headaches. We're the problem! <laughs> And we beat the last. How could I lose? Uh, you fought a Pikachu with a Psyduck. That's on you for not realising that someone could come along with an electric type. Anyways. Do, do. Here's number three. I won't be easy. Do, 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 Youngster Timmy! Sending out a Sanshu. Switch. Um. So anyways, uh, Bulbasaur, come on out! Pika! Speak it to you. There's a reason why Pika is the mascot of the series. It's so cute! Anyways, oh god, it's gonna take us two hits. 
Good thing Sanctuary at the uh, low level only knows like Scratch. When it has Slash now, that could be an issue. Well, and I think I'll that. Which we can get in, in the future. Uh, it's on a Available to level 9! And Geodo to level 10. Youngster Timmy! Oh, stomped flat. Another lass! I'm number 4. Getting tired? Maybe you should take a break. Damn you, Nintendo, and you're advertising on making us have to take breaks. But fair enough, we've only been streaming for 25 minutes, I guess that's enough. Plus, very well, real, uh, real, uh, yeah, whatever. She's gonna tell me out. Go, Pikachu that can kick me out in the face very hard. Oh, that doesn't seem to punch. Well, anyways, double kick. Oh, yeah, I haven't got my light on, so most of the light's coming from the monitor. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Oh no, I'm gonna get stomped. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, that, that, that's saying. There we go. A little bit more light going on in the room. Camper Kevin, so I forget. These help stop light getting in. And he sends out a Growlithe. No, oh, look at him. He's a fire type. Papo. And it means uh, we actually. It won't be super effective, but Sippy Slap is our best option actually, to be fair. Just out with it's a move that will deal damage. And it, yeah, it did, because. Turns out having a stand move that can quit at 50 power, apparently, at all times, is apparently too much. Also, we are higher level than it by uh, metric at the moment, so. Whoa! Too much! Yeah, part of me for the up. And we get great balls from the kid! Yay! I love how we're just looting their pockets full of their balls. Wait, hang on, there was only two. Oh no! Uh, do, 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 do. Congratulations! You beat our five trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! And we got a nugget! Yay! By the way, kid, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Yeah, you see, that's right, it was indeed a Team Rocket grunt all along! We're a group dedicated to doing evil using Pokemon. Want to join? No. Are you sure? Nah. Come on, join us. Negatory. I'm telling you to join. Who was talking? Okay, you need convincing. I'll make an offer you can't refuse. And so we enter battle with Team Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, it's see, but what am I going to talk about really? It's Pikachu just kills it. It, it just it's straight up, it's dead. But that does mean level 17! Ooh, lots of speed. That's, that's quite nice actually. And our special attack is higher. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we have an attack down nature. Oh, I agree on that one now, I'd argue. And a coughing. I wish Geodude had a move that would be allowing it to do more. Uh, we'll just keep in Pikachu, because. Because, yeah. Because level 11. Like. I think Misty's gonna be really easy. We're gonna murder Misty, I think. But this does make sense in Generation 1, Generation 3, pretty much any time you can go to the Kanto region, um, you're able to do Bill now if you decide to, which then allows for you to go to the SSN, which allows you to get cut, but you won't be able to use cut until you've gone Misty's gym patch. So. You know, it, it means that it opens up a little bit. You can choose how you want to do things a little bit. Which, you know, actually I will say this. I do think that the open world in Scarlet and Violet would be so much better if it scaled. 
Ugh, you are good. Yeah, we did it. Because, to be honest, doing the whole open world thing, you need to scale your content, because otherwise it's like, well, I'm going to go off to that mountain. Oh shit, that mountain's full of things that are 20 times the level that my Pokemon could ever be at. Isn't a good thing. For your skills, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Well, they, they leave. Uh, our Pikachu is now poisoned. Over here's a trainer with a Charmander. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I will save from a Charmander because it's not getting stronger. So I'll give it to a better trainer than me. Are you interested? I caught 50 Pokemon. You should, you should catch more than that. Oh. Oh, okay. So we need to catch 50 Pokemon. We have caught, at the very least, 19. Why? Right. Or at least that's obtained. I think we can actually look it up. Because we've got six here. Plus whatever's in the box. So we've actually caught one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-one. We've caught twenty-one. So we're not even halfway to being able to get a Charmander. To be fair, Charmander's not gonna be that useful for the upcoming gym fight, but but you know, we can actually start with collecting some of our Pokemon, some additional Pokemon, at the very least, with a Fellow Nat! Ooh, it's yellow with a great ball, and it's. Uh, game. Uh, game. Oh, come on. There we go. I've wasted several great balls just throwing aimlessly at the Fellow Nat. Because apparently they want to jump about. So if I did spend my time just catching a shit ton of sea bats, we could have gone with Charmander. That's fine. We don't need Charmander, do we? <laughs> no, Charmander's fine. It, it's a good start. But regardless, Fellow Nats uh, will be added to the Pokedex. It is a bird, another bug poison Pokemon, and it's an insect. It's just called the insect Pokemon. Its large eyes act as a radar in a bright place. You can see that they are clusters of many tiny eyes. Hmm. Mm, indeed they are. But anyways, that gives us a Fennonet. Anything else wanna spawn in this very small bit of grass? Another Fennonet and an item. Okay. Some raspberries. Useful as they are. Anyways, do we have an antidote? We do not. Okay, well, before we do anything else, let's head on back to the Pokemon Center. We need to do Bill so that the, that officer, uh, Jenny, will move and uh, then we can access more the region. Although, I feel like we could Go do Misty now, actually. Actually, hold on. Do we even need cut? Our HM is even a thing in this. In this one. Because Gen 7, so they were being phased out, essentially. Because Gen 7, it was basically wide, wide open Pokemon. Let's well, head on in, actually. Let's see. What do we even need to have achieved in order for the game to let us um, go do this. Yo, champ in the making! Mr. Jim Leo of Cerulean Sea is a powerful trainer. In you. you need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge our gym. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. Well, we have Pikachu, so... I see you have a Pokemon that is of at least level 15. In that case, head on in and good luck. This should be easy enough, seeing as we've got um, Sippy Sap. Strong move. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. Why is it today and people wanting to stomp on each other? Like, I'm not gonna kink shame others, but like. Beauty Lily. Mm hmm. Sure. That's the beauty standards of today, then. Ugh. The state of her hair. Anyway. Sippy Zap. Right. right, okay, you know, since we've actually got a bottle, I hate these caps. These caps here, they don't come off. Like, yeah, it's because they're recyclable. And that's cool, I, I don't mind that. 
but it's like sometimes it feels like it's more of a struggle to actually get it on I get it back screwed up sometimes or maybe that's just me maybe maybe that's just I don't know blub blub they go hmm oh dear we drowned them uh, maybe that's for the best actually hmm me I'm a beautiful girl who glides on the water one day I hope that one day I hope for things to be quoted and then I can go wait when will I accept the old Pokemon yeah that's a quote from Pokemon thing. Beauty Violet! A nice and out of shoulder! Oh, that's an ice type. We haven't encountered any ice types yet. Actually, is it an ice type in its shoulder? I know it can learn ice type moves. Um, but however, it is still going to be weak to electric. Uh, oh, it's able to assist the dying horribly motif. That means we're actually taking damage. Ooh, damn it. Keep on with those Simis Hubs, Pikachu! Actually, you know what, it's probably because Shadow has much higher physical defense, so that is actually a fair enough thing. Oh, it's going to level 15! So we have grass types that are level 15 as well, so that's useful. Anyways, we could probably have skipped the trainers by going around the long way I'm noticing. But, ah well, did you see that dive just now? Don't you think it's the something of gold medal? Oh, I wasn't watching, could you do it again? Uh, anyways, it's time to Pokemon battle. Beauty Daisy. Decent name. And Seal! Another Pokemon that later, definitely later, becomes an ice type. Not fair enough, water, ice makes sense. But anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. But Seal doesn't become ice until we're gone. I don't know. I don't remember that. Which means it is very much weak to electric. Oh, pardon me. Do, do, do. See, this is why I don't mind not being able to get the Charmander, because we're fighting water types. We're not going to be using Charmander anyway. Anyway, now with that done with, let us quickly just heal Pikachu. Okay, right. Uh, Misty, 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 Misty. Hello, Misty. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? Well, you see, I go forward with the idea that if you have, if that if you're assigned to draw art of them and you happen to make them look more human, then just outright say, "Fuck it, I'm drawing furry art," then aren't I? You know? Oh uh, wait, approach in terms of fighting. Uh, my bad. My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon. I mean, yeah, some water type moves are very good in the offensive category. Shame this is the second gym, otherwise I feel like this would be a good statement to have. Misty, the world famous beauty is your host. My sweet Pokemon already. Are you? Eh. I don't know. Maybe it's because I grew up with Gen 4, but Misty is not who I think of first when I think of um, some of the Pokegirls that exist. In terms of those that travel to the Ash Mountain. But my first words, of course, Brock. I think Brock has always been the more a uh, bad companion. But in terms of just the travel. But anyway, Misty has a Psyduck, which is definitely different from her team in yellow, being a star me and a star you. I said that in the wrong order. But this does mean that we actually kill the Psyduck immediately anyway, because we know that Psyducks can die very fast to the Sippy Sam. That also makes more sense because Misty did have a Psyduck in the anime, so, you know. And here comes the star me. In Generation 1, Starmie actually has quite a good amount of defense where it's like, even with an electric and glass Pokemon, you could end up in trouble if you're not careful. Also, it'd be about level 21-ish, so it'd be a problem. Like, it's level 19 and it's fully a problem, this means that that's what it is. And it has Scold! That's an issue. That was more than half. Uh, good news is, Sippy Sap is strong. If we were still using Thundershock, Million would be fainted. Million would have fainted. Definitely. Starmie has evolved Pokemon stats, which means it's able to do much more damage. Also, it's higher level than us. But still, regardless, we did it, and. Ooh, additional plus one in the defense. Looking at the stats, it's like, man, so it's like higher forms? That's weird. And. Ooh, Light Squeeze! 
Light Screen is a maneuver. It doesn't do damage, but it does produce damage that you take from special attacks for five turns. So it's so here's the thing. Because we are actually mostly one shotting Pokemon, sometimes two shotting Light Screen eh, not as useful in, in, in terms of overall in the situations like some of the double battles we've had we've had uh, on occasion, like say against Team Rocket. We could turn one, do this, and then the other Pokemon can do an attack. I'm probably going to use it more than double two. Because at the end of the day, we're using damage. That damage is now reduced. It shouldn't get hit. But as a double team, it's like, yeah, I'm still going to get hit. Like, I'm just lowering the chance. But the chance is still high enough where it's like, eh, is it worth it? J Dude wants to on Stealth Walk. Which is a very nice support move. As when we let set it out, if there's another Pokemon in the battle that will be switched in, it will be switched in and it will take damage, and it's more effective on those that are weak multiple times over, so walk. So something like um, legendary birds, their flying type that actually screws them over, uh, especially the ones that are super weak to walk, like Moltres, that's half its health gone, and it's just like, oh, that's not good. Wow, you're too much. Eh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know what to do. Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show that you beat me. We did it, Pikachu! We got the Cascade Badge! Yeah! The cascade Badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can also have my favourite TM. And we get Scold! Scold is actually quite a nice uh, water move, actually. Is that a Pokemon that lives in water? Yes, I'll just go grab a Pokemon that lives in water. Uh, but first of all, Happy Pikachu! Yeah! So happy over the wind that's laughing! Yeah! 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 yeah. Aggressive head pats! Yeah! Sometimes you need to. Whether it's in a plush form or in some kind of video game, when it comes to a Pokemon, just aggressive head patting! Aggressive head patting. <laughs> No, oh, it's sleepy. No, oh. oh, Pikachu is so cute. Uh, of course, Cavable's cute too. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, well, with the well, with the gym done, and I'll just do a quick trip to the Pokemon Center. Uh, that means the only thing we do need to do at the moment is head off to Bills and get the SSN ticket. So, Pikachu gets to have a nice, well-deserved rest. You've earned it. Victor from the Blue Team. I will forever have that in my head when I start talking like that. Because it's one of the few quest lines in Oblivion I've ever actually fully finished. And I love the arena. It's just like, yeah, here's some fights. And it's like, cool. I like to fight. And it's like, do it in a sanctioned area like that. It's like, it's kind of cool, in my opinion. But then again, that's because games Christian the played growing up, but he did. Oblivion! Not really the wisest decision for a child to be playing. But then again, everyone I knew when Skyrim came out was busy playing that, and I wasn't because I didn't play Skyrim uh, at the time. I played Oblivion and liked that game, so... Of course, there'll be people who are either the same age as me or younger being or, or older for that matter actually uh, they'll be like dad now Morrowind's where it's at and then there'll be even and then there'll be people who played the ones that were released in the 90s being like no 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 Daggerfall's the best and then you got the weirdos being like yeah no it's actually Arena or like I don't know Redguard or something if Redguard's your favourite then you are truly lost uh anyway uh hmm. there we go that's another Pokemon that isn't one I've already caught it's Psyduck yeah a war type Pokemon ooh finally Oh, hang on. Uh, I should probably check. Um, we've got plenty of Pokeballs. Let's just use Pokeballs now for a, lot, for a bit while we. Oh, Psyduck! Ooh, that was right as it was about to leave as well from being that close. Ooh. No! But it was an excellent throw! Damn it! I like getting excellence! 
I'm not going to be afraid of just being like, no, it must be excellent, otherwise I have failed horribly. We shall keep catching until it's, until it is of satisfactory levels. Spiro to level 13, and Bulbasaur to level 16. Bulbasaur being level 16, you say? Oh, perfect, that means it's time for an evolution. Evolution is a mystery. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I saw someone posting like, oh, everyone's a mystery, and I picture like, um, some other wrestlers. And I'm just like, wait, who are they going to? Oh, wait, yeah, that's the elite bull crap. Okay, fair enough, I'm not going to really die with that. How many belts does one promotion need? Is really my forever question there. Ivysaur! The sea Pokemon! Still grass poison and will forever remain that fact. The bottom of its back grows by drawing energy. Gives us a offer of aroma when it is ready to bloom. And of course, the Pokemon League Century for Psyduck! It's a duck Pokemon, pure water. Always tormented by headaches. Mm. It uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do so is not known. Why is it not water psychic, Game Freak? Mm. Well, because it's already water psychic Pokemon in Star Army, isn't there? Anyway, Psyduck goes into the box. We could replace Pokemon then. I'm gonna be honest. We don't need multiple grass types, and uh. But hey, a, hey, a water type, we haven't caught one of those yet, so it, up till now, so you know, looking for the type coverage. If we see anything else that we want to catch, we'll go catching. Um, X special defense. The X items are built around you using so you can improve, improve your stats. Uh, oh, actually, we might not need to worry actually about the hiker there. Uh, just to play the pidgey. Ooh, okay, trainers galore is around here, so. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. Hmm, did you do hiker? What you called? Uh, hiker Franklin! Yeah, I can see under that hat, you suddenly got like yee ass hat. Anyway, hey, Onyx! Uh, it's a big onyx. Uh, 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 double kick, double kick, double kick, double kick. Uh, just kick in the face. Kick. Kick. Ha! Huh. It has rage, which doesn't do much, but it means that now its rage is going to be building as long as it keeps using rage, and of course as long as I keep attacking it. Its rage is building. It's rage is even more building because I'm double kicking it. Never mind, it used walk throw. Kick in the face one last time. There we go. We did it. And put me on my back. You worked hard. Indeed, we did. Got some more pokeballs. That's Nordish, that's found that. We found a super potion. And this is another hiker. I'm not to see Pokemon at the gate. Okay, well, I pressed A too quickly there for me to even read it. I apologize. I'm ruining the experience. Hiker Knob! Obviously that's a reference to uh, a guy that was working at Nintendo for translating some of the games in the past. Because um, that, that's the only reason why you'd keep the... Oh yeah, it's Geodude. I was not paying attention. My bad. I was too focused on knobs. Ah, crap, bide. Kill it, 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 kill it. Uh oh. Ah, okay, we kill it next time. Bam, bam, ba, bam, 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 b
and out will be coming on my chop, however, we'll stay in because the stealth rock uh, will murder my spearbow, so no point in doing the whole switchy thing. But we have a silly stuff anyway, and critical hit, and then low kick, ah! You done got me! Oh, well, good too. Mm. We did indeed. I cannot. Did indeed. Anyhows. Oh, uh, yeah, we, right, we gotta do it like this. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's switch uh, to Ivy for, Ivy Sword for a moment while we fight some of these trainers. And if we want to grab that item there, we're gonna have to lure that trainer away from the gap. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until we've got access to a cup by the looks of things. Although, we didn't see any, like, mention of that, so, hmm. I'm a picnicker! My boyfriend is a camper! Alright, does he come with a sniper rifle, a rocket launcher, or, dare I say, a nest of sentry guns? Picnicker Kelsey! Da -dum -bum, da -dum -bum. Here's a goal, dude! I should've kept- Actually, no, hold on, no, Bob's also fine. No, Ivy saw. Ivy saw. Ivy saw! Yay! I like it. You just find with the Goldeen, it doesn't die. Oh, that's a shame. This is the thing, Goldeen actually has decent coverage with Peck at the very least, which means I can fight grass types, it's just not as good as it could be. Like if it has like something like Joe Peck, you'd be like, oh god, what the fuck? But yeah. It has a horn, so I guess that's the logic behind it. <clears throat> I'm picking up because he's beaten. My conditioning isn't the best. Huh, okay. Right, we gotta get close enough for it'll actually move. It might be actually. Hold on. I'm a camper! My girlfriend is a picnicker! Picnic. That sounds. Oh, that, that just doesn't sound right. Camper Dustin has a squirrel. Squirrel. It's the other of the three starters. We found Bulbasaur in the forest and Charmander. We have to get 50 Pokemon in order to fucking get. But Squirrel, we have yet to find the squirrel in the wild as well. Hmm. Of course, if it's following the idea of Pokemon Yellow, we'll be able to find one in Floridian, which means they just didn't know what to do with Bulbasaur. Uh, although, actually, hang on. They, hang on. Hmm. I'm gonna check a building once we're done. If it's following the logic of yellow, then we need to. Then we can find another Bulbasaur. And that'll help fill us out in terms of having 50 Pokemon. Yay, we're able to go around. Nothing in that bit, just the typical hen items. TM16, Thunder Wave. Really not the best move to be having, but I mean, paralysis, it can be useful. And over here's an Aether. And Cafe Rolls getting stuck on everything. You, sir, look like a fisher. You're going to see Bill? First, we battle! Alright, battle we shall. Bum, 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 bum. Fisherman Wayne! And he has a magic carp! <laughs> I think I um, forgot about the magic carp I used to get for Mount Moon. Um, but here's the thing, it's Magic Carp, Magic Carp Shite! But it does fall into Gyarados, which is kind of cool. If you like being four times linked to Electric. But, you know, because we're flying. Anywho, a Magic Carp just bounces around, Carp, Carp, Splash, Splash, Carp, 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 Carp. Making it one of the easiest Pokemon to ever fight. Other words include situations where you have just got an abundance of a type <sighs> in a in a situation. There are situations where there are some Pokemon that just end up being shy just because they're in a game where you can counter in a hundred different ways. 
something like um, Psychic types got nerfed in Gen 2 because of Dark types, but they don't actually give you access to many Dark types, but you still get access to some Dark type maneuvers. Meaning Psychic is still relatively strong, don't get me wrong, but at least there's a counter to it. Just make sure you have like a Pokemon that knows like Flanagator, uh, Umbreon if you want to go that route, uh, for your Eevee. Uh, obviously there's, uh, oh yeah, uh, Bramble has Bite. Because uh, really, I doesn't really have any dark type moves. Because Sneasel is Mount Silver. Murkrow is. Johto is in post game. Uh, i trying to think what other ones that might be. Oh, a coach trainer. There's a coach trainer here. Alright, let us. Uh, let's have some fun. Let's go with Cafable up front and see what we are dealing with before we just do our stuff. Hmm, this area is popular for dates. I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want me to battle you? Okay, I'll give you a world workout. So I scratch my back a bit. Hmm. Coach trainer Amala. And they have a Marchop. We've sent up one Pokemon the fuck. Actually, no, wait, hold on, fairy, we're fairy, not normal. My bad. I forget, but we're yeah. fairy type. Anyway. Sing! You can tell I like playing Generation 1 because I keep thinking of Cafable as a normal type. Which is legitimately really good. Uh, anyway, with Machop now soundly asleep, let us metronome it to death by maybe picking good moves. Oh, we could go for that, but that works too, I guess. It's doing like nothing. I mean, hey, it's wrapped, I guess. That's. We are doing a little bit of damage. I just. Hmm. You know, there's just so many better moves out there. There just is. Metronome. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Pedal down! Hey, at least it's a more offensive move than fucking wow. <laughs> and the chops to us. Well, you know, tell down, it's not bad one. It's a grass type move, so of course it's just normal damage, but yeah, you know. This is what we have to deal with until we can get some. Oh, Pell Down. Oh, yeah, Pell Down is one of those types of moves where you go for multiple hits. I think it's one of those ones where it's like you hit multiple times, but then you're confused. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Outrage, which is a dragon type move, does that thing. So, you know. Am I the one who was coached? Yeah, possibly. Uh, there you're on the job, not full of sleep. Phew, I had fun like that all the time. Here, take this. And we get TM15 Seismic Toss. It's a, it does equal to level of Pokemon that uses the move, as she points out, which, yeah, that is true. That is exactly what it does. Unfortunately, that means it's maybe not the best. Like, just in general, due to the whole, well, you know. Oh, hold on. We actually should go into Bill's house uh, uh, while we're here. Uh, do the main story objective. Well, this is a house, all right. What's that, Pikachu? What you notice? All right, looks like to be a Pokemon. A Nidorino. The evolution need to run around uh, standing on TV. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. Ah, a talking Pokemon. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, hang on. No, 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 I mean, I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, what's that skeptical look? I'm not judging you, pal. I screwed up an experiment got combined with a Pokemon. And the first Pokemon Infinite Fusions is born. Nintendo now sues them into ground. It's my fault. I apologize. So how about it? Help me out here. Yeah, sure. Well, climb inside the teleport so you can run the cell separation system for me. Do that from that PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. Why does everyone have a Dell PC? Like, fucking hell. I'm counting on you, pal. Now we can shape the thing and get a critical Pikachu. Looking curiously at the talking Pokemon. Hmm, yeah, it's rather curious, isn't it? Screen says something about teleport. Whoa, why'd you get in there? Don't mess this up, okay? 
Okay, uh, do it wrong and uh, cure a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, I guess? I don't know. Ooh, cutscene. The ability of this being Gen 7, we get full on cutscene. Bud, I owe you one. Hey, you got your Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job! Yeah, if you catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I'd forget my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you, too. You did save me, after all. Here, yeah, maybe this'll do. Let me get some SS tickets. The cruise ship, the SS Amples into port in for Million C. They invited me to some pie on board, but I can't stand fancy grab rings. Fair enough, I don't either. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Right, Pikachu, you're my plus one. As I did see the symbol, but it's gone now, so... Anyways, we can just head along this bit here instead of making our way through the hedges. And we're back to Route 24. Fable senses something. And it's man the sound of the grass, that's all it's doing. God damn it. Well, anyways. Hell the Pokemon, then head to the next part. Hey! Give me my poke back give me back my Pokeball! Scraddle, scraddle. Scraddle! Phew! Oh, how could you do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house! Get back here, you! Ah! <laughs> Mischievous Squirtle aside, that house is now available. Actually, you know what we could heal? Uh, we'll heal that. Uh, yeah, we'll heal after the house, because... No, we'll heal before. I, I, I need to decision-make that a little bit sometimes, I think. <laughs> because... More than just Pikachu a heart, so... Oh, pardon me. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Ooh, lunchtime. I'm not really having lunch today, am I? <laughs> this will be my lunch. I will eat Pokemon. Well, no, no I'll eat the game cartridge. Uh, if that's not something I'll broke my... <laughs> no, no, anyway. Uh, it should be this building. Uh, just thinking it through. Uh, based on what I said earlier. Nope, okay. no, nope, never mind. I guess because Bulbasaur's final born in Floridian Forest now, it's like, there's no point in it being in one of these buildings. Or I could be with, or I could go into the wrong building. I'm exploring because I forget the location and stuff. Yeah, that's the Bulbasaur. Right, okay. I'm taking care of an inch Pokemon here. Bulbasaur's really good, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon I can trust. Ah, if you've caught at least 30 Pokemon, will you come back to get Bulbasaur? Okay, so Bulbasaur requires 30, a Charmander requires 50, so part of me is thinking the Squirtle's going to cost more as well. Uh, wait. <clears throat> Assuming we can we don't just find one in the wild or something, of course. Uh, but hey, you know, it's an incentive to go buy more, uh, well, buy more Pokeballs and then go and catch more Pokemon. Pika? Pika. P The realization! These tracks lead to outside. Oh, no, never mind, I saw the berry. And now it sees the giant hole in the wall. And therefore, Pikachu is a much better detective than any police officer. Welcome to this area. Now, before we do anything stupid, Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? No, we don't. The team rocket, and that tends to be rather untrustworthy. It's a team rocket grunt with eradicate! We're sending out a fable, so, uh. 
Yeah, that's why it's a fade off. Super fine. Just cuts the health in half, because that's how it works. Moan, moan. But we've now put it to sleep. Well, since we've got uh, Clefable up front, Metronome! It's faster. Doing. Poison Sting! Yay! <laughs> mm. Ah, crap, it woke up. Oh, wait, game, I get it. I won't do this. Uh, go, Pikachu. <sighs> oh, okay, well, I love my lesson. Uh, I mean, we could get priority with this up anyway, but it's dead, yeah. Okay, sometimes it's just easier to go back to the tread, well, treadmill? Go back to the grind of just using Pikachu, I guess. Not because we're going to be level 13 anyway. And Ivy Sword to level 17! And Cider to level 11. Here's a reason addition, of course, so it's... Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly! Okay, all ton of TM I stole. TM 10! Dig. It's a good move. Shame it takes uh, two tons, but I will. I better get moving! Well, there goes that guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, TM. So yeah, headbutt can be lumped by anything, so I don't think it can be lumped by other things. We have more coverage, we've got more coverage. Wait, hold on, Dig's 80 in this game. Hold on, hold on, Dig's useful. Dig is very useful. Uh, screw quick attack. Um, coverage, we've got coverage. Yippee. Ooh, Silent Hand Lord and Skilled, which is an 80 power move. Oh. So we're going to side up that in case we want to have it used it. Actually, I'm going to give Dig to Geodude. Because it can utilize it quite well due to its ground. Typing, giving it stab. Let's give Clefable Headbutt over a pound. So it at least has something a little bit better. We're going to have to rely heavily on TMs for Clefable, that's the only issue really. Which makes me feel like it might be better box in a way. Alright, let us. Party. Let's just switch back there and pick you up front. So we currently can't head this way due to a tree being our way, so route 9's out of the question, which means it's down south to route 5. That's a rat. We can leap down further. And further, miss out on the Jiggly Puff that went up, that went that appeared up there. Damn it. But here be the daycare. We don't need to go in there. Anyway, nab berries. Uh, let's see if we can get a Jiggly Puff to spawn in one of the higher tiers while we're here. Because that means another bug one that would be requiring a moonstone! But that's uh, fine. That's uh, Pidgey. Got a fable running around. Uh, oh, here we go. We don't need to evolve Pidgey anymore. We can just catch a Pidgeotto. Ow! 
I realized that that was an orange wing. <laughs> we call it anyway. Pidgeotto! The full form of Pidgey! This Pokemon is full of vitality. It constantly flies around its large territory in search of prey. Mm. And into the box you go! Pidgeotto. Rats. Rats. There are rats. They're in the grass. They're being rats. Growlithe! 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 Fire type! Let's go! It's Growlithe! Excellent! Two, three, blimp. Easy! We called ourselves a Growlithe. On the first throw, it was an excellent, which means way loads of experience points. Boom! Just casually kneeing the desk. Growlithe Stare has been added to the Pokemon. It's the puppy Pokemon. It's a pale fire type and it's a Pokemon with a friendly nature. However, it will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. Yeah, naturally, of course. Anyone who enters my house and suddenly it's I, I go fell. I just bite on their ankles going ar -ar -ar -ar, and they retreat tastily. There's a reason why my neighborhood I live in actually doesn't have much antisocial behavior. No, no, not of course with me. <laughs> Obviously, this might be a bit of a joke, but anyway, that, that doesn't mean people can now go stabbing people in my neighbourhood. Don't don't do that. I don't want to be to blame for that as well. That's a rat. I swear I saw a Jigglypuff. I swear there was. Well, that's a Growlithe. That's a rat. I could be wrong. I could be horribly wrong. Hello, Growlithe. It's another one. I just want to get the ball so easily. Fair enough. Ah. I'm catching more growlers. I want more growlers. No. There's a lot to total. I want Charmander as well, actually. I like to play that too much. Oh, yeah, we got combo bonus. I forget that that's a thing in this. Uh, Slide up to level 12. <laughs> this stupid joy con strap. I swear there's just never a good position for it. I might be wrong, I might have just been seeing more You... You... Fuck... We have to go up, which means it's going to despawn, possibly, because we'll be... Yeah, because we go back to Cerulean, so it's going to despawn. Fuck... Right, you know what? It's unconveyable to the ball. There we go, there's a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, look at it. It's so round and pink. And... Uh, hey, uh... Do it. There we go, that's how you do it. I have to leave it like Wah. No, that makes it harder again. No. Ah, damn it. Ah, 
Uh, put yourself in a more neutral position, please, to the path. I'm not happy by flo it's floatiness screwing me over all my great balls. That's just nah. But we did it, we got a jiggly buff. <laughs> oh, pardon me. A normal fairy Pokemon, it's the balloon Pokemon. It uses its cute brown eyes to do whap to whap to its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lures the foe to sleep. So yeah, Jigglypuff is a menace to society. Who, who knew? Uh, why? Right. Well, it's actually, right. yeah, you know what? Cavable. I would potentially put up the pipe, but let's face it, Sparrow's not as useful. Uh, so we have a level 13 Growlithe. Let's add that to the party. We'll play Spearow. This means if we've got anything that's like weak to fire to deal with. Oh, it's grass types. We have a much stronger Pokemon for that. Fred is here! Oh, hey Chris! Seems like you can't pass through the gate there. Well, oh, that's a shame. But the underground path should take us to a familiar sea. It's a bit dark and spooky though. Huh? Hold still for one second, Chris. Uh, something like the sparkly thing was. This was stuck in your hair. It's worth five. Somehow we got a revive stuck in our hair. How? Fives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked down in battle. Have you rest yourself? Here, take some of my two. How many revives do we need? Game, please! What's the. What, what's the demographic? Are you expecting to be playing Pikachu game? Ugh. Three year olds? Ugh. No wonder Detective Pikachu. That Detective Pikachu 2 was apparently really bad. Huh? Are those SS tickets you have? Yeah, here, yeah, take one. And this is how Fred is going to be on the SSN. Okay. Hey, are you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going, right? Where do you get this anyway? Hey, can you open that talking Pokemon? Well, oh, it was a person after all. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, <laughs> uh, yeah, just forget about the whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on the head. See you there. Alright, bye, Fred. We'll see you maybe on the SSN. Uh, anyways, I know it's the item over here. Probably grab it. It's an Aether! Welcome to the underground! When my Pokemon is on my charger, it will let me know if it's tail when there is an item on the ground nearby. Mm. Nice hint on that, actually. So I'm an idiot. Anyway. We got ourselves a repel. Finally, right, please spam me in case I'm hitting my own. There we go, another nugget. When I sell these items, we're gonna be rich. Whoopee. Anyway. A law. Lightning's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. Mm. In Pokemon Yellow, I think it's within this tunnel, that um, there's a trainer that will trade you a Cubone for Machamp. Which, well, Machoke. But it will become a Machamp because evolution. There's a Growlithe on this route. Yay, Growlithe. Anyway, a uh, Super Potion is available to us. Yahoo! Oh yeah, just, 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 just. Ah, there we go. Where candy? Oh, that's a sailor now, right? Oh, yeah. that the bike, ah, Pidgeot! Oh, one, that one, that one kind of stuck up on us and. Anything other than Raptors and Pidgeys at this moment game? I mean, Psyduck, but we got Psyduck. Maybe not because we might be able to see or something. 
The screams tell about. No, never mind. That would walk right past. Welcome to Vermilion. Here's a. Officer Jenny, maybe it was the one from Cerulean. I just got a squirrel that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. How about I talk to you about it when you've caught at least 60 Pokemon? Gee, thanks, game. Oh, to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to hear the Pokemon? Yes, I will. Well, I'll take a Pokemon for a second then. Woo! So now all those trainers that can teach me move. Oh, here's a Fisher. If the Pokemon are the same level, that doesn't mean one is always as strong as the other, but if we Pokemon can get stronger, the more can you get them. Or so I hear. Hmm. Indeed, you can make Pokemon stronger quite easily, actually, in some ways. Right, is this. Nope, that's another building. Okay. I'm doing things based off environment from Gen 1. I feel like I have something I just should stop doing. Uh, so somewhere is the Pokemon fan club. Here it is. It's another Pikachu! And over here's a seal! Look at it! I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yes. Oh, you see my favourite Rapidash. It's the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart. It's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you stop to look at it. Don't you think so? Oh, yes, it looks, it looks so stunning. And its heart is so kind. But you, you can't help but love it. And when you hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Plus, it looks spectacular, of course. Oh, and it's simply ravishing when... Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And we get a Pikachu set from the chair. And we put that in our thing there. It's a costume seed set that you can use to dress up like a partner Pokemon. Change by the bag option, main menu. So we don't get a bike voucher. Damn it. Ah well, but we did get a thing out of it. We got, an, we got an outfit. It's a Pikachu cap. Now you're really styling. And a Pikachu top. Now we're really styling. And Pikachu shorts. And Pikachu shoes. And a Pikachu bag. You're the part of me. Do, do. Yo, champ in the making! Beyond this point is the Familiar City Gym. But you'll need to chop that tree down first. Oh, I'll go get me axe. You don't know how to chop a tree? Hmm. Well, as I recall, the captain of the SSN was an expert at chopping trees. That's our hint to, to go to the SSN. However, uh, first things first, let's go to the Pokemon Center. We've got quite a few nuggets we can sell. Oh, actually, I want to sell. Uh, I'm here to sell. Why are you selling? Oh, we got the Stardust here. That gives us an extra 3,000 off the bat. Uh, but of course, we got three nuggets. That gives us an additional 15,000. We're rich. We're rich. We're sort of rich. But we're rich enough. Anyway, I want to grab some cool Great Balls. Uh, seeing as we'll be catching a load, let's get 30! And we get three Premier Balls as a bonus. Other than that, um... Since we're gonna be, since the next is gonna be surges, I'll buy a few Paralyze Hills just to be safe. Cause, let's face it, Grass isn't a bad option, but it's not super effective either. Ground is going to be great, so Dig is just amazing. 80 power, thanks game. I love 80 power Dig, like keep it up. Anyways, um, other than that, 
we can head on out this way onto another route. There's a coach trainer and Pokemon. I said Pokemon. That's a pity. I come forth. Other Pokemon. Other than the fucking rats. Like, come on, game. Give me what I want. Anyway, we find another lore. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I need to do. Maybe I need to use the lore. Well, we found something that isn't a rattata, but it's still a fucking rat. It's a raticate. Oh, you asshole. Oh, that sound. That fucking stink. That one. Ugh. Please just get in the ball. There we go. We caught a raticate. Hmm. Ooh, do you do one slam takedown, eh? Uh, no. It's a decent powered gnaw type move, but at the end of the day, it so says it does weak or at that point it's... Uh, I'd rather not. But okay, today it will be added to our Pokedex. It is the mouse Pokemon still normal type, and it hind its hind feet are webbed. They act as flippers so they can swim in rivers and hunt for prey. Yeah, see they've learned how to swim so they can hunt fish. Good job there, Radicate. There is something I want, but it's not popping up. There's something I want and it's not popping up. It's not the fucking raptors. Send help. Only raptors wanna spawn. Oh, Radicate. Wait, I'm using a wall. But I'm feeling that it will be... No, I'm just getting right kids in the video those now. Uh... But it does cause a lot more Pokemon to be about. So... It's done as I want it. Sadly, it's not done what I wanted correctly. There is Drowsy. Oh, Mr. Mine. I I don't know if Dr Drowsy is so well or whatnot, but Mr. Mine. Ooh. Two psychic types. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, uh, fucking hell, I don't get why. There we go. I just had to do it sideways instead. Just catch. Damn it. Yeah, we got great because I threw it like immediately and it's been just jumping at me. No! Oh, you! That is still orange. <sighs> no, it's impossible. Come on. There we go. Mr. Mime! A psychic type Pokemon. Um, we just drap and say that. Oh, wait, hold on. I think it is also possibly fairy? Uh, I forget these things. Mr. Mime, the barrier Pokemon, is psychic fairy. Okay. Always practicing its pantomime act. It makes enemies believe something exists. That really doesn't. It's five foot tall, this one is. Ugh. Thank you, motherfucker. Anyway, it's that Drowsy's over here. It is! Yay, Drowsy! Uh, so, anyway, if you want to click on the, the, the link in the previous part bit, uh, there's an unlisted video that, uh, or check the short silly stuff playlist, and you'll see that uh, artwork of Drowsy. And that's all I will show of that artist. 
Mainly because they mainly draw not safe work stuff, and I don't want to go go down that way. A whole of, of oh boy, trying to recommend not safe work stuff to potentially children because it's Pokemon game that I'm playing. Though then again, I'm assuming if I have got any form of audience, it's not children because what child is thinking? Ah yes, time to watch my favourite series, Trails of Cold Steel. You know, I, I don't see a single child saying that. Children these days will probably be like, oh boy, I can't wait to see what else is added to Fortnite. And then be like, wait, what's a Metallica? Oh, I think that's one of those bands that uh, my dad listens to. I actually can say that. That is a band that my parents actually did listen to. I think they listened to like, the earliest stuff. Stuff first and foremost. So, you know. But then again, they're old, so it makes sense. Stay in the ball! Drowsy, stay in the fucking... Ah! Drowsy! I actually like using Drowsy in Gen 1. Partly because it can be... Partly because it can actually... No! It ran away! No! They can won? That's... Dumb. No, I... Ah, okay, they can won. That's fun. Uh no, 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 it's not fun. That's not fun at all. I have a great idea. What if we turn the survivors down into the entire fucking map? <laughs> Where well, I'm basically just throwing bo- Just get in the ball! Good! It was so close! You almost got it! I used up all my fucking great balls! <sighs> wait, if I, wait, if I feed it with Raspberry, is it just gonna run away again? <sighs> Finally! I am one on great balls. Drowsy! The hypnosis Pokemon. If you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show you dreams it had eaten in the past. Hmm. Certainly an uh, interesting thing that it can do. So now I missed the mime here. Oi! That is a lot of Mr. Mimes. What the fuck? Huh. You can't have a wild Mr. Mime. Yeah, and I'm gonna have one because I've got way too many things I want to do with only nine great balls. Nah. Whoa, to calm down. Oh, so over here is a tunnel. Diglett's Cave. Well, I be, did you know this luge long tunnel? It was dug entirely by Diglett. Hmm, indeed it was. We can go in here and get ourselves a Diglett. See? Diglett. Just Diglett. It spawns here. Look at it. It's a mole in the ground. A perfect Pokemon to to catch at this point of the game, seeing as we'll be doing 10 serves next and tons of gems. It's green, it's a green one. Ah. As a green wing. Day! Take to be two or three because it bounces one of them off. Ah. Also, because it can become so bold, it might be rather cute. Oh, pardon me. Well, I don't really fucking know that tree, but basically it did live on the ground. We can head through the cave and there's a chance you can find the, the trio. This path is closed because Diglett took too many rolls while we're filling the holes. Why don't you challenge the to see gym? Ah, so you can't even head beyond this point anyway now. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, it's a tiny Diglett. I'm sure if you had like a law active, a Doug trio could show up. But that would be the only option for a Diglett place to be like. Eh, 
right then. With that all sorted out, let's head to the Pokemon Center for the moment. Heal up, make sure our team is fully healed and whatnot. Actually, hold on, my team should be healed. I didn't do any trainer fights. Yeah, my team is healed. What am I doing? Uh, let's go to our box. Mr. Mime does not evolve in this game. Drowsy, however, certainly does. And uh, we'll have everything fade by this point. Psyduck's not going to be useful in the next gym due to its not good typing. Let's add ourselves Diglett. Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig. Trio, trio, trio. Uh, once again, let's add Oldish. Grass is actually quite nice in Gen 1, to be honest. Uh, so, Oldish is just there as backup if needed more than anything else. Uh, which does mean we're double dipping on the grass poison a little bit, but, ah, uh, well. Do, 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 do. Miss the turning. Welcome to the SSN, but not so fast. You have a ticket, young fellow. We flashed the SS ticket to them. Ah, that, that'll do. Welcome aboard the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. We'll have guests to join us aboard the SSN today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you fill the salty air with your skin. We get the sailor set from the crew member. Which means the clothing bag. Trunk. Sailor cap. And a sailor tee. So do we have sailor stuff now as well? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we can have a sailor top. Actually, uh... what's the sailor shoes like? Okay, quite generic looking. And the sailor bag. Now we'll keep ourselves the same. Pikachu now is in a sailor outfit. Yeah. As we head out to the SSN. We welcome you to the SSN. Oh, there you are, Quest. Let's go for the ticket. This ship is huge and it's full of trainers. And there's Blue just casually walking along. Bonjour, if it isn't Quest and Fred. Didn't think I'd be seeing the two of you here. Hey, Blue. Are you taking a cruise? Ah, uh, not hardly. I'm invited to the exclusive pie for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with this scene. I got pl I, I, I got plenty of pipe favors too. Here, I can even share one with you. Hey, Shallow Sable. Let me put it in the medicine pocket. More importantly, though, you wanna know why I overheard at the pie? You guys know about Team Pocket, right? There, the bad guys. Yep, there are all kinds of rumors going around about the things they get up to. Anyway, the point is this: Team Pocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after. You two best stay out of their path. So, of course, we naturally will not listen to Blue's advice and go uh, charging at Team Rocket. Team Rocket, huh? If you get tangled up with those jokes again, you should call me. Mm. Oh, yeah, this would be redesigned. Welcome to the SSM. There's various rooms we can go into and various places we can go. This guy's just sleeping in his bed, for example. There's also stairs downwards. These are just rooms. Well, we can go through them. See if we can find any items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There be the item. Even sailors have Pokemon. Sailor Hooey. He has a side up. Go, Pikachu! That's it, I knew you could do it. It just looks a bit. Oh, I wish I had the money. I want, I want, uh, because I've called it Pete Milliam, I want that to be. I, I want to commission our work of um, Pete and Milliam's Cold Steel 3 and 4 outfit. 
I think that'd be kind of cool. But obviously, obviously, I'm not saying that people should do that for free. Uh, unless they want to, I guess. I save my wallet money, but obviously, no. If I want to really see that come to fruition, I should really pay someone. Um, so. Who knows? Maybe, maybe then I'll make a thumbnail if I actually bloody commission someone to do that. Because bloody hell, I'm not gonna thumbnails in the slightest. That's for sure. Anyway. Okay, I just leave it to YouTube because I was that bad. Oh, you're not bad. <laughs> no, I am bad. I'm not oh, bunny pokeballs, really. Red balls would be bad, please. And if all, we get ourselves a super potion. Uh, one of these ones got to tell me something good. I mean, super potion's good and all, like, don't get me wrong. Like, we haven't been in the end of years. Uh, anything in here? Oh, plenty of things. You look like an engineer. I mean, you might have a magnet. I like feisty kids like you! Send help! Do, 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 do. Engineer Dylan! Ah, Dylan's such a bad name. <laughs> well, while I'm being unnecessarily mean to anyone called Dylan, uh. Magnonite! It's a steel type, as well as electric, but more importantly, there's no abilities! Meaning. Do, 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 Actually, I don't think this one has left hand. But it means Dick will do the job. It, the two turns for the 80 power and we murder. That's it, I know you can do it. That means we've got a good friendship with Pikachu. Pardon me. We have played the attack by being underground and then we murder once again. He just keeps looking at me like yeah, don't know that I'm good. Oh, what? Yay! And what's the one to move? Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt, it's power 90 special electric type maneuver. Well, see, Sippy Sap quits. But our special attack is higher. I may come to regret this, but let's go with having Thunderbolt instead, because 90 power, if it quits, that's still going to be even more so than before. No matter what, so ah, I lost it. Yes. What's the survival item you had? An elixir. No, no item. Uh, next room. We have ourselves a machoke. Go, go, go. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm a choke. Right, okay, we went into that room. In this room, there is a gentleman sitting by, standing by a chair. Not sitting in the chair, just standing by it. And in this room, we, there's a lady. You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? That's why we don't have to leave the Zazan. We can just heal our party here. That's good news. Which means I could actually just... Just because you look like my part... Oh, no. No, no. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. Hello, sir. The person is always having out with seat to I can change my bell some of the really bored ones. Mm. That's all it is, I see. Waiter. Yes, you, waiter. I need a slice of cake. The finest custard cake you have. Custard cake? Custard cake? I gotta admire you, lady. You actually have a good taste in food, actually. I'd love to have some custard cake if it wasn't for, you know, allergies. But, anyways, look at the wiggly top of the bed! Poyo! 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 It, it's pretending to be a Kirby. I always travel with Wiggly Tough. I never leave home without it. No, yeah, fair enough. Wiggly Tough, it's the default form of Jigglypuff. Need I say more? Item, 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 damn it. 
I love Pokemon. Do you? I forget which one is which. Do you like Pokemon? Oh, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. You know, it's the Tyler. Sends out to Mankey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, it is a monkey. Do the monkey sounds. Like we do. Apparently now. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. Thunderbolt! See, Thunderbolt does amazing damage. One of the best things about Pokemon Yellow, actually, when it comes to Pichu, is that it does land Thunderbolt, making it one of the few Pokemon I just by level up, if at all. So, you know. Well, if it wants to learn takedown, I said no to it being on a Geo dude, but seeing uh, as uh, its moveset is maybe not the best. Oh, attack up! You know what? Fair enough. Fuck war. Uh, uh, why would I want to war? If I, if I intend to fight, uh, then I'm going to fight in a way that's not just going, wah! Continuously. War vaccine nuzzles on you. That sort of thing. Doesn't really work, in my opinion. Wow, you're great! I'm not great, I just said some really cringy stuff, to be honest. Like, oh. Paralyze Hill! Of course, it's in the SSN in Generation 1 where you get the best TM in the game, Body Slam. Because it's an 80 power normal type move in a game where normal types do really well, and as long as the Pokemon you're hitting is not normal, there's a chance of paralysis. And paralysis is very nice to have on a Pokemon. Uh, that one. Uh, why? Right, let's see if we head this way. You can see all the food. It's obviously in preparations. And there's a super power. Do, 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 and it holds. The way we got to go is up this way, and there are two directions we can go up. And with that, we'll be able to just out of shoulder. And of seal or I do not. It's one or the other. Welcome to the boat. And Pichu gets up off and seems very excited. It seems like Millie wants to see what's up ahead on the ship. Uh, well, I think there are trainers. Yeah, sailors want to fight. Damn it. Ahoy there! Do you not get seasick on ships? I get motion sick. Like, <laughs> any vehicle's bad to me. Sailor Trevor! Actually, you know what? I've been on a plane. It's... Planes are the. The only thing that causes a plane to be bad is. Well, thinking about every time something's gone horribly wrong with a plane. Um, playing who you're s who's behind you, kicking your seat. And of course, you're not really seeing the outside as much. Maybe that's. Uh, then again, maybe it's because I had a window seat. Who knows? Window seat seemed like most placebo, to be honest. Windows Defender Summary! Activirus did not find any threats since the last summary. Uh, why did. Uh, I guess it does not scan every so often or something. I'm a chop, you say. Oh, good news! We got a Pokemon that's perfect for this, as it has got confusion. Come down back, Million! And out comes Drowsy! Actually, I'm have the image um, of Drowsy still. I don't want to show it, I don't want to show it, I don't want to show it. I don't want to show it. Anyway. Uh, confusion! It's only 50 base power, but what's this other move we've got here? Meditate. To awaken the power deep within his body and raise its attack stat. Shame that we have a special attack only at this moment in confusion. Whoppa! With the Kawate! Kawate! Chop, chop, chop. That's not a chop. This is a chop! Just, just big Mongolian, just. Oh wait, no, I get, wait, no, I know the perfect chop, doing this repeatedly, and going, that's, that's the worst chop. I was just careless. He had 1,000 for winning, and get three pickles. Seriously, I just don't see, like, like, lightly tapping someone repeatedly in quick succession, it's like, 
How is how are you not selling something going blah 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 blah? Like seriously, like <laughs> it's amazed by things. No matter where William looks, its eyes are full of wonder at the fast ocean. Oh no, it's gonna start sailing off and gnarling get him to Brony Island. No. Be to gaze over the wide open sea together with Miriam. Miriam seems really happy. Yeah. Happiness. Damn it. I was thinking there might be an item that way. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. Alright. We're doing a little jig now. Sailor Edmund. And he has a polybag. The tadpole Pokemon. It evolves into Poliwell, and then, depending on the generation, can evolve into Poliwrath, which is then full on fighting water. Ooh, punch you in the face very hard. Oh, Polito! The bane of a lot of people who play Gen 5's existence. Not me, I skipped Gen 5. Don't mind me, I've gone back to at least see what it was all about on a DS. But still, uh, maybe that's something for the future, maybe I'll play the generations that I'm not as well fast in, like Gen 3 or Gen 5. So it's always the odd numbers ones, ain't it? I can't say that with Gen 7, because let's face it, I can't say that I have no experience with Gen 7 when I own both Sun and Moon on cartridge, and Ultra Sun on cartridge, and Ultra Moon digitally! I was a big fan of Pokemon from Gen 7 for some reason. Gen 7 was the generation for me to be like, yep, I'm going full on in again. Whee! Anyways, heading over here. Hey Chris, over here! Somehow he got here before us, uh, then again we went on this. We went in multiple different directions. See the stairs there? Captain's quarters are up there. He can teach you this cool secret technique if you ask him. He's really famous for it. Though he looked pretty done in by sea sickness when I saw him. Ah, curse you, fate. You shall be a excellent sea captain. Yay! But you'll also be seasick all the time. No. Hey, before you go into meet him, how will I take a look to see how well you've been? Raising your Pokemon, huh? Enter battle with our buddy Fred. Naturally, he's evolved his Pidgey to Pidgeotto, and unlike Gary in Gen 1, only has three Pokemon. What the fuck? Game Freak, stop making this too easy. I think everyone's going to stream Gen 9 at this point. I might do a stupid challenge one and just see how well it goes. Kind of logic. Because I want to play, because at the time I'm just like, man, I really want to play Scarlet again. Just go through the game, do everything. But, ooh, we're going straight into Eevee, are we? Ooh. I mean, whatever the Pokemon is, it's not going to be good. <laughs> uh, why? Oh, sad news for you, Eevee. You're getting kicked in the face. It's just, it's only double kick. It's only double kick. It's not as powerful as it can be. I've felt off. Ooh, it has bite now. That's actually not too bad. Although it is a lot of time move, so it doesn't get stabbed. Bite can, if it was faster than me, uh, actually lynch. And French spam could occur. Oh, but no! I'm a monster! It's super effective and hits two times. <laughs> I'm still being a monster every time I kick in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, oddish. I forgot that was the other Pokemon. Well, good news, we've got ourselves something perfect to be dealing with a Oddish. Babe. Come back, Milliam, you're not needed for this. Go, Growlithe! Oh. Go, Oddish! Plant sounds. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we'll just be setting it on fire. Oh, wait, well, we're under level. Yep, we are well under leveled. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch back to Pikachu. I realized I've made a mistake. I should've just kept Pikachu in and used Dig. Um, <clears throat> Pika. I don't know, maybe that's something I should have. Planned. I, I, actually, I should probably like share the document. I've got a few ideas planned out, like of things I could do in the future. Um, just you know, 
takes time to consider games. And also, if I'm doing long playthroughs of games, then, you know, it kind of just gets in the way. Um, if I do too many games, I'll just then be like, I could stream this, or I could stream this, or I could stream this game, and it's just like, nah, nah. I'll just get indecisive, and that's never good. So, it's good to have like a few things as ideas, at the very least, like currently, idea-wise, because uh, I don't want to play for houses, because I've played it enough already. Um, I might do something stupid on Engage in the future, just play Engage again. Wow, Chris, you, you've gone pretty strong. Oh, well, nothing. That's cool. Anyway, go meet the Captain Adam and show you his secret technique. Um, one of my ideas is still Sandbag. I still want to play Sandbag Chronicles 1. It's just I know that it's a long game. I know it's a long game. I, it just is. Yeah, you did a good job, Pikachu. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't like the face. You like the belly. Yeah. So I think maybe that's um, that will fill the gap between me not having. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, the seasickness has done me in. Because uh, I'm thinking like maybe if I'm still not got the money for Reverie come close to four ending, I might just play somebody instead, and I'll be like, I'll do that while I'm waiting to have the money. <laughs> you want the captain's back? There, there, old fellow. There, there. Phew. Thank you. I'm feeling much better now. So, what did you want from me? Oh, you want to learn my secret technique? Of course, I'd be happy to teach it. Come along with me. Pika Pika. Ha ha ha! I can't escape it. That Pikachu looks more than ready to learn my secret technique. But I'm afraid it's really only for humans. What's this? You really want to try to learn it no matter what? Well, colour me surprised. I've travelled all around this wide world. This is the first time I've had a Pokemon want to learn my secret technique. But with spirit like that. Well then, who am I to say no? I'll teach my special secret technique even to that Pikachu of yours. Come with me, little friend. And you'll see a world of pure imagination. Uh, obviously. Now watch carefully. Hi-ya! Chop Down has been learned by Miriam. Whoa! It really went to learn Chop Down. Using Chop Down, your Pikachu will be able to help you chop down thin trees. We could go give it a try, uh, no that's right, how about it run on the trees around the Vermilion Sea? Phew, now I guess it's time about time for the Ask Hand to set sail again. This may be good night for now, until the next time we return to Vermilion City! But great, the captain's in the outro form, uh, no I'm joking, we'll go do, uh, the tent Sarge. Now is the point where if we get off the ship, uh, we will be unable to go back onto the Ask Hand. So if there's anything that you want to clean up from this place, now's this time to do so. Um, which for us, uh, we can go and use the heal point here because it'll be quicker than going to Pokemon Center. Do 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 do. Uh, uh, oh, pardon me. I want to call that character Claire now. But I feel like I'm just boiling cold still at that point. Anyways. We get cutscene showing the SSN leaving. And would you look at this? It's one of those damn fangled people from Gen 7, the Sun and Moon games. Oh, well, shoot. I believe she wants the fairy trial on the fourth island, and I forget her name. I was so caught up sketching the ocean through here that I guess I missed my ship. What are you gonna do about that then, hmm? Hmm, I guess I'll stay here for a while in that case. I remember the colour of the sea in Kanto anyway. Where does this put let's go on the timeline of things? Uh, similar to like how in Gen 4 Jasmine's on a beach. I think um, Rorsty is just randomly in Gen 7. Just also on a beach, funnily enough, from Gen 5. It's like it's just random sometimes when a trainer from a different gen just happens to be about. It's just like, no, oh, okay then. You know? 
It's like, ah, you. Yo, Trevor, they're making Beyond this point, it's a familiar city gym. We only chop that tree down first. Yeah, we got chopped down now. But I think you and your Pikachu will have no trouble slicing it. Come on, give it a shout. Seems the tree can be chopped down. Do you want to use the zero technique? Chop down. Pikachu! A slash! Good work! You dropped down that troublesome tree and opened the way to the gym! And that means you can challenge the gym now! I'll be waiting for you there! Hmm, indeed we will be! Let's head on in! Pikachu Lun has Dick, which is really useful, so... Unfortunately for us, it's the trash cans! We have to use the trash cans! <laughs> Oh, right. I've been waiting for you, champ in the making! And so here is the gym leader in the sea, he's an next one electric type Pokemon, and a real tough guy! Flying and water type Pokemon don't do well in match up against electric types, but also want to watch out so your Pokemon don't get stuck paralyzed. And here's my last tip. The turn is the course this time. He put barriers between himself and the rest of this room, so it won't be easy getting to him. Well, thankfully for us, there's a red trash can and a blue trash can. Nope, only trash can. Nope, only trash can. Only trash here. There's a blue trash can. No trash here. No trash here. No trash. All oh, these just. Let's push it! Uh, will it just be the next one? Oh god, it does this, doesn't it? Uh... Oh! Sweet, the first switch is still there. Okay, that's not too bad then. Now, if this is like... I better stay on the wrong barrier. Uh, I guess the first switch is just always there then. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now, if it's like Gen 1, then um, it'll be right next to... Uh, damn it. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Alright, fair enough. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Walker Bailey. He has a fault tool. Well, maybe it's like a faster than me. Okay, right. Oh, 22, I'm not 21. Oh, God, okay, yeah, it's going faster. No, wait, we're faster. Okay, cool. I'm glad we used Dig! Self destruct! It destroys its own health to try and kill you! However, if you resist normal, then it won't be happening that badly. And also, it's not so bad if you can just dig your way out of it. Uh, dig levels to learn fury swipes, fair enough. It doesn't have dig yet. Oh no, my backup idea. Do do do. It's learned fury swipes now! Uh, I don't want to set on photo. Alright, fine, fair enough. Uh, if it's just gonna self destruct, though, then I'm gonna have a fun time just using dig. Ah, uh, that sounds like someone I have self destruct on. No, Swift! Guaranteed to hit as well. Well, uh. It's low enough, we'll double kick. Wapow! Level 22! I realize I'm not really using the rest of my team much. Fried! Uh, well, the walkers stay it with. Yay! There we go, so it was a Jason still. Woo! Okay. Right, we'll heal, we'll save, and then we'll fight Surge. So, step one. Uh, medicine pocket. Potion, use, Pikachu. Oh yeah, we got the Shadow Sable from, uh, from, uh, Gary. Uh, Blue, my bad. Uh, it's a uh, shortbread from Kalos. It's weird, just trinkling references to the other regions, I don't like, you know? It's weird how often they then like to ignore the history of Pokemon sometimes. Anyway, let's save our game so that we will then not have to do that again. Ten hut! Welcome to Vermilion City Gym! Will you look at that? A pint-sized challenger! Ha ha ha! 
you've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with that with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. All right. Well, while he's busy shocking us into surrender, Pikachu, you stick. He starts out with a photo. See, here's the thing. If his nose self-destruct, then uh, oh, it's not 25. Ooh. I put out the light screen. Ah, crap, I need special tank, I didn't do as much. <laughs> Pardon me! However, it's still only using Swift. Meaning that, yeah, light screen means if I use the special tank, I ain't gonna do as much, but. I'm not, I'm using physical. <clears throat> Full top down! Oh, this is even easier! Many Knight's four times weak to ground! Sonic Boom does a fixed amount of damage, so it's a good thing that we did not get hit by it. Yeah, four times weakness, doesn't have sturdy, so immediately. Can I not run study? I think I No, I can run something. Anyway, Lieutenant Surge's ace is a Raichu. We can't obviously turn our Pikachu into a Raichu. That goes against the whole point of it being Let's Go Pikachu. Meaning it is going to be, well, it should be faster and stronger by proxy of has evolved. Hell, it has Thunderbolt. That's really good. But we have the power of Dig. And we did over half, so yeah, we just have to survive this Thunderbolt, which we should, because electric on electric, not very effective, still did the damage, so you know, we have to dig and all that, otherwise we will die horribly, and uh, yeah, we'll win, we just win with a Pikachu sweep. Let's go Pikachu! Oh, and went for a crazy one time, hmm. I don't know why, I knew, it was, I knew I was on the ground, just, therefore it would be the waste of time doing that, but okay. And Pikachu sweeps another gym! Oh, let's go! Growlithe to level 15 and Ivysaur to level 20! And we beat the Tent Sarge. You're the real deal, kid! Yeah, that is indeed a shocker. How electrifying we are. <laughs> Fine! Then take a Thunder Badge! Da -da -da, we slap the tail. Lieutenant Sarge is. Thunder badge. That's not all. You're special, kid. Take this. We got the ten such as autograph. We put it in the bag. <laughs> Don't worry. That's not all I'm giving you. And we get TM36 Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Legitimately a really good electric type manoeuvre. Tis it to an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Mm. And various other Pokemon that can learn Thunderbolt. So, you know, if you've got a good special attacker and you we need a ledge type move. The million is gazing ugly at your new gym badge. Yes, we are. And you are the one that did it all. You are the best, aren't you? Yeah, you're. Da, 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 da. Wait. Wait, for Coco. Not again. You're gonna walk again? Oh, really? Because he was doing this fucking jealous. Oh, God, I dropped my for Coco. No. I dropped my for Coco plushie. I'm a bad trader. I'm a bad trader. Mm, boop. Boop you on the nose. <laughs> Am I too easily entertained? Yes. Is that a me problem or... Actually, yeah, that's probably a me problem. Uh, anyways, we did it. We got our third gym badge. Now, it's going to be a little bit before we get our next one because we have to go through all of uh, all of Rock Tunnel and also got to deal with the fun time of... Oh, let's go to Lavender Tower. Oh, we can't go to Lavender Tower. Let's go to that. Misty is now here. Oh, it's you again. Oh, wow, you beat, so you beat Lieutenant Surge. You must be pretty good. Glad to see you're really learning a thing or two, and your Pokemon must have tried their best. Misty healed our Pokemon, saving us a trip to the Pokemon Center. 
Oh me, I'm going swimming in the sea. The times we just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you heading to next? Have you been to, have you been to the little escape? It's pretty close by. I haven't been to show you the way. I'm a guide? Where have we been? So no. Oh, I had some way to turn down such a nice offer. It's only to fucking rock tunnel. No, no, uh, to Diglett's cave. Like, calm down, Misty. Alright, let's go and get some great balls, because seriously, not being able to like do the whole weakened Pokemon thing is fucking annoying me. Let us get some more Pokeballs. 50 this time. We burn through them so quickly. Like, if we find something that's like really easy to get outside of a Great Ball, that'd be good, but. <laughs> so, anyway, our next destination will be Rock Tunnel. You're a coach trainer. What have you got? Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in its name are so cool. And guess what? I'm the coach trainer on Route Double One. If you can take me on, yeah, I will. I won't hold back here! Do, do, do. Will is challenging us with a Rattata. Right, right. Why are there so many fucking rats? Take it to your use, Thunderbolt. Oh, no. Super Fang! Deals half your health. Despite the super effectiveness, double kick not as good. And it has crunch to really just hammer home the hole you're going to die on. Ah, wait, well. Oh, Thunderbolt again, I guess, and I uh, hope you don't die. <laughs> no, it lived! And we might not! No! This is a bit of a pinch! That's why I might cry! No! No! Don't cry! No! No! He has quick attack! No! It's the one's gonna attack at this point! No! Pikachu! Pikachu, no! I'm a bad trainer. Where did I go? Okay, if I'm gonna, okay, if I'm gonna start seeing the fucking thing, well, after causing my Pokemon to faint once, I'm not cowed to be a Pokemon trainer. I guess I'll just use tackle. Put the rat out of this misery. We get so little experience from these trainers. Fucking hell! I guess you're meant to just get more experience out of catching this whole bunch of Pokemon. You're strong, you're going to be good moods. Take these, and we get some Pikachu candies. If you use a Pikachu candy, Pikachu will get much stronger. If you want to get candy for a person, but try catching our species over and over, or send them to, to the professor. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Okay. So we got some Pikachu candy. And that just up its stats. Yeah, that is definitely stronger now. That was quite useful. Thanks, guy. Thanks, game. Uh, right, bag, bag, bag. Uh, we have plenty of fires. You don't need to go to the Pokemon Center. That's a useless super fire I'm allowed to. Hmm. It's a drowsy! We already have a drowsy, but hey, you know what? What's another one? Yay! We've got another one. So I guess there is a use to catching like some Pokemon a whole bunch then. Because with that, we can then make this drowsy that we've got in our part stronger. Whoops. This one's heavier. Hmm. So if we go into our Pokemon box... We've got additional Oddish, let's say. We can send it to the Professor. Oh, we can send multiple Pokemon. Okay, well we've got this bad Pidgey, we don't need because we've got Pidgeotto. Same with the rats, we don't need the rats in our thing. 
And I guess we have no use for other Pikachus unless we want a Raichu. So I might, I, I might just keep a male Pikachu just to have um, there. So the cocoon is not needed. Um, go with a Subat. Go with Growlithe. Get this drowsy out of there. Pokemon will be sent to the professor. Tell my special to the professor. Thanks for sending along those Pokemon. They will be a good help in my research. That's it. I think you want some candy for your help for getting Pokemon from it. They get stronger. And we got. Okay, we didn't get any Pacific Pokemon ones. We just got other type of candies. So if we go into our candy jar, we got quick candy, which increases speed. Tough candy increases defense, smart increases special attack, special defense, and attack. Hmm. Okay, so if there's something that we want to specifically buff, like say the speed of a Pokemon, like Growlithe, let's give Growlithe like a bunch of speed ups to help notify its nature being bad for its speed, say. Now it's tougher. No, 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 it's speedier. We have some wear candies, I want to save them because, yeah, I don't want to use them just yet. Don't want to be too hasty now. Didn't actually go and encounter this item last time. Super Repel! Ah! Jossie! Oh. We got some great we got enough great boys. Oh sorry, if it doesn't catch, it doesn't catch, if it does, it does. Yeah! Alright, you caught a drowsy! And it does combo bonus us actually, so you know. Oh this wants to land laser leaf! Thank you, Odd! Thank god! It is actually stronger for it, because it's Razor Leaf, a move that has a higher crit weight, not guaranteed, unless you're playing Gen 1, in which case it is pretty much guaranteed on a fast grass type, uh, but, you know, combo 2! And we found another 5 in the walk, okay. Some greetables at our disposal. And you're a trainer that wants to fight us, okay. I raise my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Oh, okay. Right, if you think they're ready, then have it thee! Bum, bum, last to Moe! And they have a Jigglypuff! 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 It's a jiggly path that I'm falling asleep. Because that's what it does. Makes you fall asleep. And then if it's one in the anime, it will doodle on your face. With a marker. Because it's an evil one. And I need a Rina. I feel like they're starting to be round. So maybe, maybe I'm just useless here. Drowsy, on the other hand! Need a Wiener! Need a Wiener is the male version. Man, if only we had a stronger. Oh god, yeah, bite. Oh yeah, Je every game beyond Gen One is bad news for the po for the psychic types because a lot of the Pokemon that because there's a lot of Pokemon that have um, bite. Back then, it was an old type move. Then in Gen Two, it became a dark type move, changing from physical to special, and then when Gen Four became a physical move once again, because damn it, Dark really needed to have physical attacking moves because otherwise, oh god. Anyway, some of our Pokemon level up. Bye bye, thank you, and goodbye. Alright, calm down. You chose to fight me. You didn't need to fight me tomorrow. You could have just not. Uh, anyway, wait, let's carry on. We're heading towards Rock Tunnel, meaning we have to walk through here. Guards, let us walk past. Very nice. 
and we make it onto. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong place. Onto Route 12. I've gone the wrong way, but I think this is for good reason. Behold, it's a Snorlax. We can't wake it up yet. Basically, Rock Tunnel requires us going through that tree that we saw back in Cerulean. But it was good to show this off. Unfortunately, we'll be having to deal with in the future. I was thinking to myself, hang on, this doesn't seem right. But I wasn't questioning it myself because, eh, I get things wrong on occasion. Meanwhile, every time I. Meanwhile, every time I get something wrong in, like, trails or something, because it's been a while since I played God's Stuff 4. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna get things horribly wrong in Reverie, aren't I? Because I haven't played it yet. Oh well, no, that's fine. Braxton. We're being challenged by someone called Braxton. I'm sure they were brat on and then they got naughted or something, because bloody hell is that stupid name. Hell, hell, I thought that'd be stupid name. Different. Whatever, they only have a level 18 Fault Orb, so unless they have self destruct this should just be a case of just digging it to death. Egg is the move we use to murder of a psychic. Oh, no, no, after electric side, my bad. I got it wrong. But you're great! You beat me! Alright, calm down, dude. Anywho, we did that. Yeah, Jazz is a common enemy. Common Pokemon. Maybe it was just the, uh, the chances of. But yeah, Dinglet Cave was recommended to us because we can go on to Route 2 from there and there is stuff we can do. So you know what? Sure. Since we're heading this way, let's head into Diglett Cave and Diglett Tunnel for that matter. Maybe we'll find a Duck Trio. Who knows? Maybe we'll catch a bunch of Diglets. Maybe not. I'm not too keen on the idea of filling up my box full of uh, Diglets now. Uh, as you can see, this cave is... I have a barren outside the occasional diglet. And we pop on out in Route 2. Yes, we've been here before. But around here and Chris! Remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no, it's a little too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting inside to show you whenever you're ready, Chris. Right, well, we'll head back into that building in a second, but um, we'll chop down this tree first and foremost, because then we can go beyond there and explore what's down here, which is. Big woo. CP stands for combat power. Whoa, combat. All right, some people really don't like getting into scuffles. But beyond that, we end up on route. We're still on route two, just now outside. Of, and we, ooh, a leaf stone at this point. Then again, we do have Oddish. But if we want to head back onto route on that bit to go back to Viridian, then we can. So, hey, you know, that's kind of cool. And a super potion is here. So yeah, we are on Route 2 and there's multiple parts we can cut through if we really want to. Obviously there's no real point in doing so, uh, doing, doing all that, it's a little silly, but hey, yeah, you know, it's there if you want to do it. So you came! Let's get down to the brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I've mastered the secret technique, light up. Now let me turn off the lights and... There, nice duck. Now if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you'll be able to sense your surroundings, no matter how dark it is. Ah! Ah, see? It seems bright even with the lights off. The keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. Pikachu. Huh? Seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead? What? And you say you already knows the secret technique chopped down? I see, Professor Cat mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Well, I'm just going to cover my eyes because it's good lord. It's bright. Now, calm your heart. Breathe deeply. I'm looking at OBS now. Sense your surroundings. 
Ha! Ah. Let's learn the secret technique, light up, and can flashbang our screen! Yay! Your Pikachu! It really is quite wonderful. Now use secret techniques to your heart's content. Still not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy. Well, yeah, so that means we could faint our Pikachu and then just use them. I don't know why we do that. And Fred's here! Oh, Chris! Did you learn how to use light up from Professor Oak's assistant too? What? You didn't learn it, but Miriam did? That partner of yours really is amazing! Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? Let's go together. Alright, we'll be there in no time. Come on. This fast travels us back to Cerulean. Just head east here from Cerulean Sea. That's this direction. Got it? Scale in this way and you'll eventually hit this cave system called Rock Tunnel. Here it's pitch dark. You just light up though. You don't have to be scared of the dark. See you around. Alright, well thanks to Fred putting us here, this actually is great because that means we can end it now instead of me wanting to really back really through. Uh, which saves us all the time. So, I'd say that's enough for this part. Next time, uh, for this play for the very least, we'll be heading off to Rock Tunnel to get to London Town and then from London Town we'll be able to do quite a few different things unless the game decides to well us, well road us a little bit more than it does in say Generation 1 because in Gen 1 once you got to London Town you would actually go to multiple places. Head on over to Celadon, you sort that out, and then you're able to go to Saffron and Fuchsia, and then you'd need Fuchsia to be done to be able to get Surf in order to, you know, uh, sort out being able to get to Cinnabar. But in Yellow, you probably are doing before you beat the Saffron Gym. So, anyway, let's save the game, and that will be all. So of course if you're watching this on Twitch and you do enjoy the live experience, then give me a follow. That's really the only thing you can do. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoy the FODs, then hey, subscribe. And check out some of the other stuff, like currently the other playthrough I've got ongoing. Cut Chaz Cod Still 4. And of course, before that, Cod Still 3. If you want to watch that one as well. And Fun Engage, that's another one too. Uh, recommending myself aside, I hope you all have a pleasant day and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.